Hello, everybody, and hello, Frank Tavara, CEO of the Palace Theater in Waterbury. Great Thank to you. see you, Scott, even from here. Thank you so much for having us. This Our is really pleasure. wonderful. Look at this beautiful. So, you guys are open for tours of the theater. Open for tours. Uh, because we're unable to be open for the public for shows, we thought, what a great way to take advantage of our time, show off our space, and invite people in to see this beautiful theater that we have here. And tell us a little bit about the Palace Theater, if you might. Sure. Well, besides the fact that we were reopened in 2004 with a $30 million restoration, this theater is seats 2,600 seats. It welcomes Broadway tours when we're open for business, musical concerts, comedians, etc. So we're the downtown community center for Waterbury and the greater kind of western part of Connecticut. There's great detail, great architecture in this space, and we have some fantastic tour guides that are trained and skilled in providing the best tour backstage, front of house, and inside the theater. So today you're gonna get a special uh, behind the scenes peek. Connie Nolan is our tour ambassador. Connie, this is such a beautiful venue. It really is, and we are so excited to have you here to show it off. We want to uh, reiterate what Frank said, that we are introducing our tours again. We have a limit on the amount of people that we could have, but the tours are only $5. $5 and it lasts about an hour and a half. Our tour starts in the grand foyer. The palace was built um, in, it started being built in 1920. It opened in 1928 to George M. Cohen's uh, Mary, and it was a sold out house at that time. The architect was, was Thomas Lamb, and his brother was William Lamb, who um, was the architect for the Empire State Building. Oh, wow. And Sylvester Poli was the one that started this theater. He was an immigrant, he came from Italy, and he settled in New Haven. And he was a theater impresario and a businessman. So he had many theaters. But this theater, he wanted to be a palace for the people of Waterbury. While the walls look like they're marble, no, no, no. As you see the beautiful marbling, I have to tell you that it's all faux. It's all faux. It's all faux. It was done uh, by a technique called scagliola, which is done with brushes, uh, string, and um, I, they just kind of feather it so that it looks like marble. And if you touch it, you can see the seams. The seams are literally drawn down on the wall, and that's what makes it look so effective. Oh, it's smooth. It is, it really is. There is marble in the grand foyer. It's in the beautiful stairs. Before we leave this beautiful space, look at this before picture that was taken during the 1990s, and you can see what a wonderful restoration job they did. The palace uh, was built for a million dollars at that time, and when they did the renovation, it was a $30 million renovation. We're moving into the theater now. So, Scott, this is our 5,200 square foot stage. It's probably the largest in this area. How big is this theater? The theater um, originally had over 3,000 seats and now we're down to 26, a little over 2,600 because of the way they reconfigured the theater for um, the acoustics and the bar area. Okay. So we had to lose some seats back there. The upstairs, basically the seating is exactly the way it was when the theater was built because they couldn't do much because of the concrete that's underneath the seating. So and if I come on the tour, I'm gonna get to see all of this. Oh yes, you're gonna get to see all of this and more. You'll also notice pipe uh, organs. Uh, originally there was a Hammond organ here and um, it was sold or lost, you know, after the theater went dark or when Mr. Po I'm sorry, when Mr. Poli sold the theater in the 30s, the organ disappeared. However, the pipes have always been faux. The, the organ was located behind the stage and those pipes are just there for, um, you know, visual purposes. And that's always been the case. Always been the case. Look up to the ceiling to see some dramatic artwork. All the paintings is, is done with gold leaf, silver leaf, and copper. And what they did was get on scaffoldings, almost like Michelangelo, and lay on their backs and put every little piece up there. And speaking of paint, when you're sitting in the seats here at the Palace Theater, of course you look up and see this immense curtain. Most of it is fabric, and this looks like it's embroidered. 
but it's not. It's actually hand painted onto the curtain. Okay, Scott, so I just want to mention the uh, ceiling. It has the wagon wheel light fixture that is original to the theater and it can be lowered to be clean. But if you notice, it's a dome shape and we call that a parabolic dome. And what that does is it really makes our acoustics in here stand out. Uh, when Tony Bennett, who closed the theater uh, in, in the 80s, uh, came back to reopen it on our opening night in 2004, he literally put his microphone down on the stage floor and sang without a mic because he wanted everyone to see how beautiful the acoustics were in here. And you could have been up in the last row in the upper mez and you still would have heard him beautifully. We're gonna end the tour with Frank. Frank, what a beautiful facility, the foyer, the theater itself, and now we're in a place that typically the viewers don't get to come. Most patrons don't get to see the magic that happens under stage, and that's where we are, under stage, where the performers are, the actors, the musicians all kind of take place here. And you can see against our walls, what a Broadway tradition is that the cast of the touring company will come in leave their mark on, a, on their production that they were here in the building. Whether it's Blue Man Group, Chicago, the cast signs it, it's their moment, they leave their legacy here in downtown Waterbury once they perform here. So the murals are pretty amazing, and it's interesting to see the names that someday will be, you know, touring on Broadway itself or doing other things across the country. So come check it out, the Palace Theater in downtown Waterbury. Where can we go to find out uh, tickets for the tours? PalaceTheaterCT.org. And it's $5 for like an hour and a half. So how awesome is that? Frank, we want to thank you and Connie for showing us this beautiful theater. It's my pleasure. Glad you can come, and we hope others join us as well.